Hey everyone, we're here at Auto Zurich and we're at Pinin Farina uh, where they just unveiled a new version of the car and this is their electric hypercar, let's say. So we're going to discuss some aero features on the car. Let's go along and uh, see what we can see. So at the front of the car, obviously, we have a nice front splitter uh, which guides the air underneath the car all the way to the flat underfloor because this is, of course, an electric car which means no drive drivetrain components blocking the airflow. Then we have airflow entering this area here, which is a high pressure area where the air um, comes to almost a complete standstill. And this feeds air into the radiator, which you need for cooling, obviously. And then at the top of the car, you can see how the air actually exits from the top, not just from this slot. If you look at it from this point of view, you can see that there, is, there are two slots um, through which the air can actually evacuate from the front hood um, to provide good cooling flow. And this will also help to increase the downforce as well to some extent. Now, if we then move to the side of the car, what we see here is actually the mirror. So, very often, the airflow around the A pillar is quite sensitive to flow separation. So, if you can put the mirror further away from the car, it interferes less with the airflow around the mirror, around the A pillar. Uh, you can also see that there's only one support element, so there's less interference here between the second support element and the rest of the car. And perhaps this might actually be generating some downforce, something we also see on all the DTM cars and so on. If we then move further back, we can see that the air which is flowing nicely alongside the car will end up in this side air intake. And if you zoom in on this one, you see that there's a massive radiator there as well to actually capture that air um, and feed it through uh, for some extra cooling. Now, if we then move to the rear wing of the car, this one is deployed. We'll check the other one later. So, at higher speeds, if you need more downforce and so on, this will, wing will rise, and this is actually your airfoil, airfoil profile, which will actually generate the downforce for you. Let's have a look at the bottom of the car. If you look at it from this side, you'll see a massive diffuser. So, there's hardly any dry, there's no dry streak components uh, keeping you from actually um, having the full width of the car acting like a full diffuser, which is different from combustion engine cars. Now, there's one last feature I want to show you. When the rear wing is not deployed to still get a low drive value, what happens is that the airflow will actually enter over here underneath this panel and will exit over here underneath the rear light. So that's quite nice to actually reduce that cross-sectional area that you leave behind um, to reduce the drag further. Um, and then last but not least, let's have a look inside the car. Uh, I may need some help to open the doors, but there's fantastic guidance available. So check this out. So, this is the inside of the car. This is a fantastic feeling, like, like you have the doors opening like this. Um, you have kind of a race feel inside the car. The quality finish is just fantastic. This is really, really nice. So that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.